and here we are. Hello there, my name is Anthony Barocas from YOLO Live, and I am happy to see you all back again for this week's Tech Talk Wednesdays. Uh, we're going to be talking about PDFs, and if you ever do corporate work, um, you could load a PDF onto the Yola box directly. You don't have to convert it to JPEGs or anything like that. <clears throat> like I have vMix and if you import a PDF, it has to convert it and it converts it into a bunch of images. I mean, technically I guess kind of what this does, but if it's doing it, it does it seamlessly and it's not like an extra conversion step or anything like that. And invariably, if you ever do events where somebody has a presentation, they come up at the last minute, oh, I made a few changes last night and they walk up with a USB stick. And if I have my Surface and <laughs> I don't have an external dock, I literally cannot get this USB stick into my Surface because it only has USB-C, as many things do. But uh, this USB stick is the traditional one and it actually fits right into the top of the Yola box right here. So somebody comes walking up and says, oh, I've got a, I made a few changes last night. You just plug it right in. And there you go. So I want to add a new source and I want to say PDF. I'm going to open a PDF and here they are. That's Those are the ones on the SD card. And then you just tap up here where it says USB storage. Boom, boom, boom. There you go. It just loads them right up. So I can load up this PDF on the Yola box mini. I say done. It's loading. And honestly, I it's it's there. So if there's conversion, it's amazingly fast. And then if you want to do uh, because that is a source, you could just bring it up directly as an output. And then right here on the screen, you can see you can go between the different, you know, this slide, next slide, next slide, next slide. And that's how easy it is to literally bring up a PDF. But I'll give you, I'll show you another trick with PDFs in a minute. There may be a couple ways around that. I think the YOLO Live team are working on that. Um, and I should use that opportunity to say that if you are not already a part of the Facebook YOLO Live user group, this is where the YOLO Live team actually uh, ask questions of end users. They answer questions, they answer tech support questions. People help each other. It's a fantastic group to belong to. If you are watching on Facebook and haven't seen the uh, YouTube channel, there is a great YOLO Live tech like and subscribe. And I can use my left hand here to, to do this because as we talked about a couple weeks ago, I'm actually flipped. So stuff on the right and stuff on the left works to how I look at it on the screen. And if you have something that nobody seems to answer, you can always reach out directly to support at yololive.com. How many source input on the internet? Um, well, you can do graphics. You can bring in web graphics over the internet. And you can also bring in um, four guests over the internet. So um, I, I don't know which one specifically you're asking about. And then actually there's um, an internet, uh, is that still here? Live stream. So you see where it says live stream there? An interesting thing that is seldom talked about or used is if you have YOLOcast, if you have uh, YOLO Live, actually, let me see if I can do that. Um, because I, no, I'm pushing on two different accounts. If you have two different YOLO boxes on the same account, you'll notice that the, uh, let me go to the pro, you will notice that uh, your shows, let me exit this, yeah, let's say we're done there. The shows that you work on, these will sync up. And so every device you have will show these same events. I, I say that with a caveat, the, some of the pro events with the extra features don't show up on the mini or the original, but the original ones you create on the original and the mini will show up on the pro just because the pro has been added features and you can't have those added capabilities show up on a device that doesn't have those capabilities. So there's that uh, limitation. But anyway, this is all in sync between devices. And part of that is if you have multiple devices on the same account, you can actually, let me go back into this, and then you can add a source. And right here where it says live stream, you can actually pull into another YOLO box the live stream coming out of another YOLO box. 
So I could have somebody in Chicago doing a stream. I could be in Dallas and I, I go to this and that Chicago stream will show up as a potential source that I can bring into Dallas. That is a, an interesting feature that um, I don't know if anybody really makes use of that, but it is part of the ecosystem that you have available to you. Please talk about how the Yolo box sizes squeezes crops full PDF pages. Um, hey, that's perfectly topical for today. So let's go back into uh, this um, live stream demo I got going on here. You can see PDF is grayed out and that is because I've already brought in the PDF and this is a vertical PDF. So you can see if I enlarge this, it, it just sits in the middle here. So it just sits in the middle. Now, because this is a standard in, input side-by-side, uh, -side. yes, next. Oh, I'm in the way, sorry. Next, and then I can shrink myself. And because I have a chroma key going on, it re removes the background and then I could do that. So this is kind of cool, but obviously, as you can see, the PDF I have is a vertical square and it's not filling that whole space over there done. The other interesting thing is, uh, as you can see, the border is being properly placed over top of me, but even though the size is being adjusted, it does not look like I can see the border around the PDF. Done. Uh, the other thing I might try is to do um, do, 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 do not a triple, do a split view next. Oh, I got to pick one. You, me, me next. And da, 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 da. so here you can see it's stretching it horizontally. So because the Yolo box is not that tall, um, but it is a way to get them in but it's not an overlay that's the key thing although you could probably try a picture in picture with me as the background next and then the yolo mini as the foreground and then look at that take the border thickness down done and i bring that up so now it's an overlay. I'm it's and it doesn't include the whole space, the whole horizontal space that it does when I bring it up by itself. But here I can have it, and I can be over here, and I can be talking about things. And because, as you can see, I've got those um, arrows there, I can move forward and backward in those arrows in the PDF itself. I have a couple other PDFs in there that I can load as we move forward and talk about these features some more. Um, my audio, let's go back to the laptop. The audio, as you can see, actually, you know what, let me do a, uh, I can't use a picture in picture because I used them both already. Uh, where's my other one? Oh, I don't need that one anymore. So anyway, I'll just leave that up. The microphone is that little, gray ball that you see right in front of the monitor. It's aimed up towards me and then above the TV screen, which is my program monitor, above that TV screen is my camera. And so I'm looking at the camera, but because I look down a lot to do demonstrations, I found that having an overhead mic sounded worse when I was facing down. So I moved the mic down below just because of the way I'm doing these tutorials. I'm always, I'm tapping something, I'm adjusting something. Let me set this up for you. So I'm looking down a lot and that actually makes me look more, even more into the microphone. So that is, and then the microphone is connected into the camera, uh, which is a Sony ZV-1. And then the audio comes into my Yolo Box Pro via HDMI. And then you have to remember to turn off audio follow video. Hopefully that will be in the past soon. And then um, it goes out so I can see my audio on the meters here. Actually, if you bring up the pro, uh, dun, 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 you can see this is the same camera 
being fed to multiple devices. And there you can see the meter uh, confirming to me on an ongoing basis that my audio is indeed making it through the Yolo box and that I do have audio. Whereas if I didn't see that thing bouncing around, I would pick up the headset and try and figure out what was going on. Uh, looks like the key to use PDS effectively may be to format pages in 16 by 9. In general, yes. Um, but like I said, if you do that picture in picture, they can be vertical and they won't have that extra wasted space. I do have, since you mentioned it, the trick I was going to show everyone is the PDF of this show, which is this one here in the middle, done. And one of the interesting things is you can't have a... Um, you can do a green screen and then put a still in the background, but I can't necessarily cut to a still or use a still as a picture in picture or things like that. Um, so what I've done is I have used the PDF to be my still. So the pre-show is basically the PDF input. And then I basically say, um, do a picture in picture with that is the background. Next, this is the foreground. And then I say, oh, I say the other way, no thickness and make it really big, done. And then you have what the pre-show looks like. And then I add a ticker across the top, which is not in here, but then I've got my countdown timer. There it is, countdown timer. And that's the way I do the pre-show. Um, and I find that works very well as opposed to just doing a green screen, which I could do, but this lets it be a different input. So you see that I still have, I can end that, and now I'm in the show, and this is the pre-show. So that works out for me very well. There may be other ways to do that with virtual inputs and, and changing the backgrounds between the two green screens, but um, that's how I also leverage the PDF to be able to make a still image, a JPEG, into a background, which you can't otherwise do unless you're doing a green screen, but then it's not a standalone thing. Can I add a PowerPoint slideshow in Yolo Box Pro? Absolutely, that's that's what we're doing here. So, um, in here, you know, let's you know, I, as I was showing before, let me go to the overhead. You know, somebody comes walking up and says, "Oh, I've I just made a couple changes last night." Okay, you know, what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete this PDF. Done. And I'm going to, I'm going to delete the pip as well. Delete, done. And I'm going to say add my PDF from the USB storage. He just walked in. Oh, you've got a, um, an IC7000, that's a ham radio thing. And here's my PDF, okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, do, 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 do. we're gonna do a side by side with you and the PDF next. And actually I wonder if, can we change the order? Check this, check, and then da -da 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 -da, take off the border and put a background on there. Done. So now take the output of the pro. You can see that over here, you know, is our latest thing. And on page one, you can see this is the overview of the whole thing. And on page two, you can see how well it has done in various testing. And on page three, you can say, I mean, if it's a vertical PDF, as, as has already been mentioned, it's a little challenging to get a vertical PDF, just like any vertical thing to fit in a horizontal distribution. Um, but if it's a horizontal PDF, then it would fit nicely over here because this stays 16 by nine. It just seems like all the PDFs that I grabbed, other than my starting logo, are vertical and not horizontal. So you can easily add a PDF. Somebody could walk up with a USB stick and say, here, I wonder what happens if I take it out. Go to the next one. So apparently it's cached. There you go. It actually loads it into the Yolo box because this I pulled in off of this stick. It exists only on this stick. So it actually cached it in memory. I bet you if I if I left the show and came back, it wouldn't be there. But that is very interesting that it is technically still in the Yolo box despite the fact that I have pulled the USB stick that this um, PDF was residing on. But the full size USB or the USB C or the SD card, you can bring this, you can bring a PDF in on any of them. And I appreciate you all being here. I hope to see you all next week. And till then, have fun.